Oxford mourns the loss of one of its finest teachers. 13 News' William Ingalls joins us in studio to show us how former parents, students, and workers are remembering her. William? Derek, it takes a special person to teach kindergartners for more than 30 years, but if you talk to anyone who had Ms. Fickbaum as a teacher or worked alongside her at Christian Life, special is one of the first words they would use to describe her. Not everyone has the patience, ability, and love to teach five and six-year-olds, let alone do it for 34 years. But whether it was a gift from above, a love for kids, or maybe a little bit of both, Suzanne Fickbaum was born for this. For Suzanne, you definitely knew that Teaching kindergarten was not a job or just a career. It was definitely her passion and her calling. And she loved those kids like her own. Her love for kids extended past her five days a week as a teacher and into choir lessons and chapel services. And she was passionate about singing and about serving at church and even in the kids ministry on Sundays when she was with kids all week at school, she was serving on Sundays at City First as well. Lead pastors for City First Church, Jeremy and Jen DeWert, recognized Ms. Fickbaum for the impact she had on so many kids, saying in part, quote, we are forever grateful for her hard work, dedication, and love for the children of Christian life, including our two oldest sons. She will dearly be missed by many, yet we know with full confidence she is with her Savior, whom she loved with her full heart. And at many houses like that of Chrissy Saunders, who worked with Ms. Fickbaum at Christian Life and had five of her six kids taught by her, will always have a memory pop up every year around the Christmas season. We put together a huge photo album for her of all of the kids holding their bears, but then there's Noah, like, where's mine? And of course, her heart, she gave him a bear, but not only him, she actually made one for both Greg and I. So we have a family of eight bears. Recognizing a teacher who went above and beyond every minute she was in the classroom. Well, much like the Saunders family, I have a bear as well. Yes, I was a student of Ms. Fickbaum in her class back in 2002. Now, sources, with sources being my parents, say I was a bit of a terror when I was five years old. And they regard Ms. Fickbaum as a saint who not only dealt with a hyper William Ingalls at five years old, but she also taught that kid discipline and respect at a young age, lessons I still lean on today. So for myself and many others who had the pleasure of being around a great light in our community, thank you, Ms. Fickbaum, for everything.